Welcome to Audi Foodies. It's where I cook strange food for the boys and hopefully they won't suffocate. And you know, since it's the colder month here in Florida, I figured I'd make something, you know, to keep the body temperature high and warm. So today we are making cup ramen pho noodle bowl. Now we don't really need a seasoning, so we can just really toss these away. But if you're Asian like me, we usually just keep it inside a cabinet somewhere and just use it with something else. I'm just gonna put the vegetables in instead, you know, because it's just vegetable. It doesn't change any of the, the flavor or anything, you know, it doesn't hurt. Look at that, beautiful. And there we go. Our vegetables are washed and clean and are ready to be mutilated. So I learned you're supposed to cut from the bottom. That way you get rid of all of them. You know, it would help to have a sharper knife. You can also add onion to this, but I'm not gonna add onion to this unless you stir fry it or like, you know, caramelize it. I don't typically like onion. You can actually grow green onion out of these stumps because they are just essentially roots. You can just put it on the ground, put a little water in it, a little bit of fertilizer, and they'll actually just grow. I'm so bad at this. It's like I'm just learning how to use my hand for the first time. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. And that is good enough gonna transfer that to a cup because I don't have enough bowls mmm look at all that green now of course we got to add the protein nice now this is a thick piece of steak we don't need it that thick so we're gonna cut it into thin little slices something like this is perfect that is a good piece right there look kind of like beef jerky And we're done. All right, now that the noodle is done, we got the cilantro and the greens are done. And then we also got the meat done. Next, we obviously gotta do the broth. All right, now usually the traditional pho, the broth take a while to marinate, like eight to 10 hours, I think. I'm not a professional at this, but we don't have time for that. So instead, we're just gonna use beef broth or stock, beef stock. Oh, that sounds very familiar. I'm not gonna lie, that beef stock actually smells really good. What smells better than that is cinnamon. And we're only gonna be putting one stick of cinnamon because cinnamon is hella strong. That is a good one right there. Following that, we got some sugar. And then lastly, we got fish sauce. Now, obviously, I don't know what a tablespoon look like, so I'm just gonna be eyeballing it. I'm gonna say that is good. I, I said that's a tablespoon. And now we just turn the heat and let it boil for 20 minutes. Traditional pho, people actually have eggs on the side along with their pho, but we're not gonna use a whole egg, just the yellow yolk. There you go. You wanna be careful not to break that yellow yolk. Ooh, that looks so gross. And there you go, just the yolk. And now that the water is boiling, we're gonna go ahead and introduce the meat. Stir it up real well, you know, to get that beef flavor evenly spread. But you don't want to leave it in here for too long because then the meat will be too well done. Now you just take the meat and put it inside your noodle. Oh man, that looks so good. That's mouth watering. Just like that. There you go. I wish I got a bigger ladle. Broth and ramen. Beautiful. And put the egg in the ladle. Just like that. And you just submerge it into the broth so that it cooks. Cause we're not eating raw egg out here. And it looks something like that. Now all you gotta do is softly and nicely just lay her to bed. Just like so. And our cup ramen pho noodle bowl is completed. It looked hella good, but let's see what the boys thinks. Bone appetites. Wow, that actually looked good. Hmm. That's not a good hmm. I guess it tastes like ramen. It just tastes like ramen? Yeah. Oh my. No, what? Is that 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10? I would say it's a 9 out of 10, so. Let's go. That's good, man. Hey. A 9 out of 10. Oh, you give it a 9 out of 10 too? Yeah. The meat is a little bit dry per se. Oh, my bad, man. My bad. It's my turn. Let's see how it turns out. See that? I'm gonna try the egg first like you're supposed to and not mix them together, Bao. That is so creamy. I see what you mean. That cinnamon flavor is so strong. The meat is not as flavorful, 
mainly because I didn't think I had to season it because we put it inside the fub broth. It's not chewy to the point where like it's very tough. I'm gonna have to give it a 6.5 out of 10. I messed up. I put the cinnamon in there for too long. I fed my boys. I fed myself and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.